So the futures are up, indicating when they do open officially tomorrow, uh, they're going to be racing north. I mean, that's Fridays? Uh, that, that, Look at you. Well, well, apparently. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know the yeah. markets were closed today. Am I a business reporter? Or yeah, what? Go, isn't that weird? Well, <laughs> I want to bring Gary uh, Kalpam into this. Gary, it's uncanny uh, how we're stuck with these futures up 144. But obviously, they're not worried about any of this stuff that we've been raising. Are you? Uh, not yet, uh, but we have seen some moves in the last few weeks that m make some stocks in the market look like the Eiffel Tower. And whenever I see something like that, I get worried about the other side. So I do expect in the next month or so to get a pretty darn good correction. But right now we're in good shape. And it's very simple. It is easy money. It's the economy and something else that's going on right now. Earnings estimates have been raised about 5% for this coming year because of the tax bill. And that is a lot, potentially a lot of ammo as we move forward. So why yeah, are they I think only we're raised it. now? I caught that in Barron's over the weekend that all the estimates are changed. Certainly, this was well telegraphed. So I, I, I'm a little surprised that they're responding to numbers that I thought were baked into the cake a while ago. I think they're just being careful to make sure the deal got done and what kind yeah. of deal got done. Maybe you're right. and, and by no, and, and let me just say this: by no accident, the companies with the highest tax rate have had the strongest move over the last month or two. Retail, transports, I mean, just absolutely skyrocketing. So there definitely is uh, a means to the ends in here, and I do think it, it lasts. But I do believe we're just getting so overheated, so frothy here. We're going to get a, a darn good pullback. You got to scare the bulls. You got to embolden the bears. But I think as long as this continues, uh, of the earnings, of the economy accelerating, not only here and around the globe, and the still ridiculous easy money that's been going on since 09, I think the market should have a, a pretty decent year. Now, you, you've been talking about the bond market. I'm not so worried. Why? If we go to 3%, we're still 3%. That's still ridiculously uh, low. And you still have printed money in Europe and Japan as well as negative rates. Did any of you guys see this, Barack Obama? interview with David Letterman on Netflix. Yeah, I saw some of it. It was actually very interesting, but he's taking a bow for the big market recovery. Not a word about the Federal Reserve keeping rates at zero. Right. Now, believe me, he's get, he would get blamed if it went the opposite way. But no acknowledgement that the Federal Reserve has carried this. Yes. Now, the question is, if rates start going up, then what? Well, uh, depends it depends on how on, much. It right? depends on how much. I, I, you know, I think one of the reasons why President Trump appointed Jerome Powell is that he's not uh, Kevin Warsh, uh, right. the other, the other uh, contender. It'll be a more accommodative thing. Exactly. And, and so I think I don't think the Fed is is going to do that now. Uh, the, but again, you know, the, here's the, the thing that you know, it's never a crisis until it is a crisis. And mm -hmm. you know, I remember back in 2000 and. One two thousand two. People were talking about a real estate bubble blowing up and destroying everything. You know, so clearly there is some notion out there that we've printed so much money. The Fed has expanded its balance sheet so much. It's the, there is a notion that our, our currency is debased. Our, our de the, that, the dollar is not what it once was. So, but David Letterman didn't ask that question. Well, he wouldn't know to answer <laughs> that question. And, and you know, you it mean? is, and it's it's much of what like people. T it's a column gets back to a column I wrote in the Post last week about the insanity of the President Obama's economic policies versus the insanity, which I think is very sane, of President Trump's economic policies. Um, President Obama really had some harebrained fiscal uh, policies. I mean, he wanted but to, to not taxes. even throw them into the mix. Right. And the Fed, the only reason why, and by the way, this wasn't just like the Fed lowering the, the Fed funds rate. This was something known as quantitative easing, which they did about three times. Which Zero means, percent rate. Yeah, which means they, they, it, they negative right? interest rates. Long, long time. They just, went to the marketplace yep. and they bought long-term treasury bonds in you in can't Brazil. stress the historic enormity yes. but Gary yeah. go ahead. well Ben Bernanke yeah Let's let's be clear about something here. Every time the printing of money stopped, the markets came down. That's true. So then they went yes, and printed indeed. again, and then the market started going again. They had eight years of zero percent interest rates. That's my big complaint. And the big worry long term. Forget about right now. Yes. The central banks around the globe have printed, depending on oh, which exactly. abacus you use, right. like fifteen to twenty trillion right. dollars. And as I said, still negative rates. There is going to be some repercussions one day. I'm not yeah. sure what they are, but I. Have have one eye looking out, and I must tell you that right now the strongest areas of the markets around the globe right now are commodities. The worst thing that can possibly happen, inflation's fine, out of control inflation, but, not but, so but fine. You want markets to come down, look out. 
the alter, alternate universe is watching Fox. Of course. The real universe right. seems to be listening to NPR. Uh, but the reality is that without the Federal Reserve, absolutely. Uh, and happen. we were the best house in a bad neighborhood. Yeah, we're the because tallest the rest region of, of right, exactly. Is that too. That's <laughs> why we're still. <laughs> that's why we're still the reserve currency. I mean, you know, you know here's the and thing. Let's, I mean, let's go real ahead. quick. But real that quick. could change. Real quick, Gary, go ahead. Let's not forget what all this easy money also enabled: massive amount of debt around the globe. Very true. Government, yep. corporate. And but personal cheap, debt. Cheap, it cheap, is cheap. at skyrocketing, uh, right. skyrocketed levels now. And again, debt okay. in the long run is usually a bad thing. I, I, Something to watch. NPR said and it too. I, I was going to say that yeah. you know President Obama it was incredibly immature from the fiscal economic and standpoint indulged. And, and indulgent. And you know, as crazy as Trump is with these comments, I mean, his fiscal policies are so much saner than anything that we well, got. Out but of you got to listen to the interview to how he dealt with his oldest. Oh, I know. He sounds good, school. but he's old. He's full of you know what? I cried. So indulged. No, I mean. No, oh, it was President, very, no, as a no, parent. No, President Obama, it, it, I'm sure he's a great dad. Frankly, he's great at deadpan humor. Someone's blocking. He's great at deadpan humor. Love that. But in terms of actually running he's an economy. He's a dad economy, hurting when his daughter went off Disastrous. Yeah, well, no, well, and that's, we that's wonderful. No, the Look, President it, Obama simple. is a, is a charming man right. person. My but parents threw me out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> so easy. Oh, they were Obama out. believed. They, were, they believed in him. Obama. Got him out. Obama yes. believed in more government. Uh, Trump leaves, uh, believes in less government well, when we it don't comes know that. to the economy. Right. We'll, say, that's, well, we'll find we'll out. Say things could be worse, though. Way, Would you Ralph. worry about your investments or the economy if you heard a missile was coming your way? Yeah. In a way, they had to debate that after this.